Welcome to this triathlon meditation. This has been prepared by Scott Larson of mytrygift.com. This guided meditation is best used in the months, weeks, and days before your triathlon event. It is structured as a complete race simulation to prepare your mind and body for what is to come. You have done the work. You are confident in your ability. You know that today is the day that you are ready to undertake the triathlon event. Let's begin. As you lay in bed the night before the race, you start to notice the feelings of anxiety creeping up. Yet you are calm in the knowing fact that these are normal feelings. These butterflies are energy and with a good night's rest, you will harness this energy, transforming it into performance. Your mind settles, and you drift to a deep sleep. You know that tomorrow has already been won. No matter the outcome, you have done the training, you have followed the process. You will be a triathlete. Although your alarm is set, you wake up a minute before the alarm goes off, feeling refreshed, recharged and, energetic for the day that lies ahead. The night before you had already packed everything need, and simply, this is a final check to make certain all the boxes are ticked. Equipment and nutrition, is ready. You are, in complete control of today's event. Arriving at the venue, your level of excitement rises. This energy, will transform into your performance, and you remind yourself calmly to remain focused. You will not get caught up in the emotions of the pre-race, and you will follow your process, in setting up your transition area. Knowing with clarity, where your bike is, and in the comfortable knowledge, that everything is laid out as per your specific needs. You head out for your warm-up run. You notice how light you feel. How strong your legs are how refreshed you are feeling, and how the energy is building. These feelings carry with you, through the rest of your warm-up. You are now on the start line, and the minute to start has been signaled by the race official. Once again, you notice that the energy elevates, to a new level. The swim is something that you have worked on a lot. You are positioned in the correct place on the start line, for your ability. You have your strategy, and you know you can execute it. Perfectly. 5 4 3 2 1 The horn starts for the race. In this moment, all of the potential energy is collapsed, and you are pulled into this moment. The race has started, and you can now execute the plan you have laid. Immediately notice the space around you, as if there is a bubble. You are present to the arms and legs splashing, however, as if by magic, this bubble is protecting you and giving you all of the clean water needed to find a rhythm. Through the first stage of the swim, you focus on driving your kick, with fast arms. Knowing this will only last a couple of minutes. Your awareness is focused on the water gripping your hand. You feel every droplet of water on your palms, as they are in the perfect position to exert the most possible force. Propelling you forward with ease. Gracefully, gliding. With this rhythm, you are able to fully control your breath. As if you were out for an easy stroll. You have everything it takes, to make it through the swim. With your head in the correct position looking down, in your mind's eye you can see the swim can. You are on course. A steady stream of bubbles from the competitor in front of you, is flowing under your body. You are on the right path. Every time you look up, the boy is exactly where you thought it would be, and you are swimming the fastest route. You now have a short distance to go, and you feel the sense of excitement as you will be leaving this phase of the race, onto the bike. You start to pick up your kick a little bit, knowing that the legs are going to need the blood very soon. Once again, you visualize the transition area. 
you know exactly where your bike is, because you have practiced running to it in your pre-race warm-up. You know exactly what your specific marker is. A tree. A point on the signage. A tent. You will run directly to your bike, and follow your system for a smooth, fast, first, transition. As you exit the water, you notice how light your body feels as if the day had only just begun and the swim was simply a great warm-up before the race has really got started. You mindfully run to your bike and follow your transition sequence. You are now running your bike out of transition and by holding it at the seat. You are in full awareness of the chain and the shoes and anything that else that you may have on your bike. Feeling comfortable it is all there. At the mount line, you straddle your bike, ready to start this next phase. Getting your bike up to race speed as fast as possible, your legs feel like they have all the power necessary for this leg of the race. Once again you turn your legs over slightly quicker than you otherwise would, through this first minutes of the ride. You take a sip of water and wash the salt taste out of your mouth, getting your stomach ready to take in your nutrition over this bike segment. Focus on your aerodynamics. Find your position that feels most comfortable for the ride. Bring your attention to every part of your technique. Elbows in, head down, knees to bar and dropping your heels. Find that rhythm that you can hold and sustain. Focusing on one athlete at a time, you start to pick points ahead. You will work on these points like a game, slowly closing the distance between you and the other competitors in the race. One by one, you start tracking them down and passing by with ease. Each person you pass, your energy lifts. You are on track to having the best race of your life. Staying conscious of the small things. Listen for your signals, or look for the marker points on the bike course. These indicate you should be taking nutrition. Follow your nutrition plan to the letter, it will be important later in the day. We now have 10 minutes to go on the bike, and you will be happy to get off and through this segment. Your mind once again shifts to the transition area. You change down one or two gears in order to spin your legs out and let the blood flow into the legs. You sit up on your bike for a moment, and allow your back to stretch out a little bit, maybe even stretching out your hamstrings and shake your quads. You now feel loose, for the final run segment. You are now in transition too, and want to execute everything that you had seen in your mind's eye. You go directly to your running shoes, as if you had done this one million times before. In sequence, you re-rack your bike, take off your helmet and put your shoes on. In an instant you are out on the run. Immediately you notice, how good your legs feel. In fact, how good your entire body feels. All of your preparation to run off the bike, is now coming together. You feel strong, light and energetic. This run is going to be amazing. Building up to your race speed over the first minutes, you allow your body the time to work through any tightness, or any dullness that may be carried from the bike. You know, this is okay and you know this will pass as the run continues. Some distance has passed and you are in the middle of the run. You are right on your race pace. With every step you take, you know that it's one step closer to the finish line. In your mind, you start to remember all of the reasons and feelings of why you do this. The energy flows into your body as if it's abundant, like you're pulling it off the surroundings around you and filling your body with unlimited resources, to keep pushing. To keep extending yourself, and keep running to your limit. Now with only a few short minutes to run, you know that this day is almost over and the line awaits. You envisage the relief of being able to take the pressure off your body, and to have a rest once you cross the line. You think about the smile of your supporters who are waiting for you at the finish line, who are going to be so proud of your effort, and this gives you that extra ounce of energy to push that little bit more. You will not save anything for that last finishing line sprint. No. You will run to your potential over these last few moments to ensure that when you cross the line, you have given it everything today. 
The sounds of the thumping music that are playing in the distance are drawing you in, like a mosquito to a firelight. With every step you know the day is almost done. As you come around that final turn you can hear all of those sounds and see all of the supporters and the emotions are amplified as you head down the finishing chute. You can be proud that you have executed a perfect triathlon. You look up at the time clock and you are filled with emotion that you have set a new personal best. That you are a triathlete and that you have had another amazing day. Crossing the line your body can let go of everything that it had been holding onto through the course of this event. You know that you achieved your goal and you feel all the emotions of proudness, satisfaction and completion rise. This is something you can celebrate for a long time to come. You are a triathlete. Thank you for using this triathlon meditation. If you would like more triathlon meditations and resources, please visit mytrygift.com.